healthy, happy plants as, as we would define. We have no idea what's going on in the plant's consciousness, but as, a, as represented by something that we would see as a healthy plant, the healthier and happier a plant is, the more activity you're able to pick up through the plant wave and, and that gets expressed. And, and, and the higher the resolution of that um, activity, the more differentiated the, the sounds will get expressed through the plant wave. Is, is that approximately right? That's approximately, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can we, can we give it a go? Sure see thing. What we are about to listen to the plant. Macy, is this the plant you bought or Joe, is this the plant you brought to the, uh, okay. M Macy was kind enough to buy a plant en route to this interview. So we're about to hear the, the sound of, what kind of plant is it? Do you know? This is a, it looks like a monstera or some like a, is it like a tiny monstera or like, yeah, it's okay. a monstera. A tiny monstera. And then it, it, well, we can probably put it in post, but it'd be cool to have different, you know, some different plants that you've recorded along so we can oh, hear sure. how the, the sound differentiates. Okay. Sure, sure. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna, I have my app open here. It's connected to the plant wave and I'm just gonna plug this in and we'll listen. So you're hearing this just play basically one or two notes right now. And a lot of plants will be a lot more active than that. This can be very like sprinkly and celestial in other situations. But right okay. now it just sounds like very chill ambient music. Have you found ways to kind of immediately get a, a plant to respond? Um, you know, what... What have you learned from plants through this experience, I, I guess? Is there ways to immediately change uh, the, the the sounds they're making or the, the energy that's coming through them? I know you talked about how watering it take, could take hours to see it, it get expressed, but mm -hmm. are things you can do immediately um, that you think would help that plant have, a, plant have a, a different expression of sound right now? You can definitely touch it. Yeah. And then, so when you touch it, then you are becoming part of what the system is sensing. But right. then after that, the plant might be doing something else. Okay. Uh, we can also just try, since it's in such a chill zone right now, we could try watering it and just see what happens. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, we can always we'll turn we'll give, this up a little bit. See what happens immediately. And then maybe towards the end of the conversation, we can tune back into it to see what happens. Sure, sure. Okay. Oh, it's already up a little bit. Here, let's see. It's probably good. Huh. It's a pretty quick effect. what happened there is there's almost I think there might be more than one plant in here so I connected between two oh. leaves that are different plants so we heard the water the the water content in the soil change so the connection between those two plants changed okay so that's something that's fun especially with uh, snake plants like it's really really apparent You can hear the notes going up. And that's the change in conductivity going up. Yep. And then, yeah, it's still going. And then we have it built so that the notes kind of fold because if it went infinitely up, it would just get out of our field of perception. So you can just hear the fold there in the algorithm. So now okay. it's the lowest notes. And you might just hear it continually ascend and kind of like loop that uh, as it folds. Yeah, so it's continuing to ascend. Have you done any experiments formally or informally to see how you get a, 
a plant to respond. For example, I remember the studies that you talk about in grade 10 science about how talking to a plant in a, in a positive way with positive words can cause it to grow and talking to a plant in a, in a negative way and criticizing it can actually negatively affect the, the plant growth. Have you, have you played with that uh, at all? I have not played with it in that way necessarily. I mean, I, I have done a lot of uh, meditation and breath work with plants. Okay. So yeah, I, I, I hear those studies about the positive and negative kind of affirmation things. And I don't know, there's something about like faking being angry at something as an experiment. Yeah. That just, that doesn't seem like a good experiment. Totally. So, uh, and I, I have no reason to be angry at a plant, so I wouldn't <laughs> be the guy to, to do that. You've uh, never stubbed your toe on a plant and gotten mad at it for being in the way? No, I would just be like, oh, look at you. I'm sorry. I stepped on you. I, I, I could work on my awareness of other beings like you. You are uh, one evolved human being. I would probably get very frustrated <laughs> and yell at the 